You've applied the pressure to have me crystallized, and you got the faith. What is up, guys? This is Yak. So your principal for editor school. This this is gonna be my third lesson on how to edit, and the effect I'm gonna be teaching you guys today is how to do like smooth twister, like really smooth, like in the beginning, like yeah. So it's actually really simple, but like when I started out, I thought it was really hard, and I was confused with After Effects, but I got used to it. All it is, guys, is just keyframing. So if you know how to keyframe, you're gonna be really good After Effects editor. So. Well, for Twixer, there's a version on Sony Vegas, but I like to use After Effects. So open up your After Effects and import your clip. I already have that done. So let's begin the tutorial. So I'm going to drag my clip into the little composition button down here. And then I already rendered this out in Sony Vegas. So it's cut right when I want to Twixer it to save time. So first things first, I'm going to make it quarter. So then when I pre-render it, it's going to go fast. And okay, so let me let me explain how Twixer works. So Twixer is a slow motion like external plugin that you can download. Um, it costs money, but uh, you can get it for free. So just search up on YouTube how to get Twixer for free and install to your After Effects. And what it does is you drag it onto your clip and then you keyframe it. So then it like it makes it really slow, but it only works good if it's 59 frames per second or higher. Frames per second is FPS. It stands for FPS. So right here, if you click on your clip in the project menu, you could see how much frames per second it is. So you, it's mine to 60 because I put it into Sony Vegas and I rendered it out at 60. So originally this clip was 59.94 frames per second. So my texture is going to be a little off because uh, I just wanted to save time. So yeah. So you're sh if it's not 59.94 frames per second or higher, it will be laggy. So you you want to find clips that are 59.94 frames per second. So yeah. Once you have 59.94 FPS, then you can start twistering. So this will, this will not work on Dazzle clips because Dazzle is like recording um. 20, I think it is, or 29. I'm not sure, but it's not 59. HTTP VRs nowadays recording 59.94. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is after you have it installed in the effects and precepts tab down here, search up Twixer. Um, Twixer, any of these are the same, they're all the same thing. I'm just going to drag in Twixer 4.5 onto my clip. So now what you're going to want to do is for the input frame rate, you're going to want to put it to the one where it was here. Wait, right here, so 60 frames per second, so I'm just going to put 60, so 60, that's it, and I'll just put dot, 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 zero, 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 so, yeah, for now, all you got to do is keyframe the speed, so, uh, um, it's not good if you keyframe right here, so just put this down, click the arrow on the clip, go down to effects, twixter, output control, and then, um, wait for it, oh, right here, speed is right here, but it's like, it's kind of like, wait, let me see if I can fix this. There you go. Okay, so speed right here. So what you're going to want to do is you, when you want the Twixer to start, all you're going to do is hit the little stopwatch button, and then you want to go a f frame forward, or two frames, depending on how smooth you want it, and put it to what you want. So I'm going to put a 15. So now what it does is if you can look, if you like use this to look really closely, this is a keyframe for 100, and then in this short amount of time, it goes from 100 down to 15. So as you can see down here, if I go like right there, see, it goes from 157 to thing, 15. So then from here on, it's going to be slow motion. And, and another thing you got to do, I forgot to say it at the beginning, is you got to just like click on your clip and click layer time enable time remapping so what ta enable t like what time remapping does is if you stretch it out the clip um if you see how see how slow motion still see how it's slow motion like and the clip wasn't this long originally see it just cuts off so just go to composition settings make it how long you want it i'm gonna say 45 seconds just any any time you want and then just zoom this out See, and then what enable what what time remapping does is you can stretch the clip out, which you can't normally do. So it could like go go even past the slow motion. So that's a really good thing. You're gonna want to enable time remapping. It doesn't matter if you do it before or after. It's just yeah, when you want to stretch it out, do it. 
and then now after now I'm gonna make it so after he shoots it slow motions right about there so it's not that hard guys it's like you gotta just do it a lot to get used to it so just go down again go down here go to effects twixter output control and I'm gonna twixter it wait okay so I'm gonna twixter like before he shoots I'm gonna twixter it to 100 so it goes fast so I'm gonna click that stopwatch and I'm gonna go a frame forward well, two frames, and I'm gonna make it a hundred. So now it goes, it goes from a hundred to fifteen, down, 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 back to a hundred, and then I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna make it slow motion right about when the ten comes on the screen, like about there. So I'm gonna wanna click the uh, the keyframe again, and then go a frame forward. And then just make it one because it's got to be really slow. So now what it did is it went from 100 down to 57, down to 15, it went to 15 all the way down to here. And then it went back up to 100 and then back down to one. So that's like, it's really simple guys. It's like, it's not really hard. All you got to do is just like keep trying, keep watching tutorials on how to use After Effects. You'll get used to it. And that's basically it. So what you're going to want to do again is make sure it's 59.94 frames per second or higher or else it will not be smooth slow twixter um yeah guys so that's basically it if you guys have any questions just comment below and if you guys like this tutorial just like it it really helps me and it, it encourages me to make more so guys just thanks for watching subscribe if you want more tutorials and peace guys